Did you know that you can access your client's GoDaddy account without their username and password? It's actually pretty easy inside of GoDaddy Pro. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so I'm in the legacy GoDaddy Pro dashboard. Uh, if you haven't yet, you can check out the new experience at hub.godaddy.com. But let me show you how to set up that delegation request so you don't have to use your client's usernames or passwords to log into their GoDaddy account ever again. And we're gonna take it from the very beginning. So if I'm on pro.godaddy.com, I'm gonna move over to clients here on the left and you'll see a list of clients you may or may not have here. I'm gonna go ahead and do add a new client. We're gonna say it's Jim Bob, Jim Bob's Bakery is the company name. I'll hit save. And then I have this little client section created here. Next up, I'll wanna request access. Now there's a couple of different access levels that you can request depending on you and your client's relationship. So if you only want to manage the products in their account, say you need to set up their hosting or mess with any of the settings, you just choose that manage products. But if you have the relationship with a client where they're just like, go ahead and add whatever I need to my account, just bill my card, then the managed products and purchases is for you. Uh, you won't be able to access uh, or view the cards on file. You'll just be able to use whatever is on file with the purchases. Once you choose your access level, you'll hit next. You'll type in the email address that you want this to send to. It does not have to be their GoDaddy email address, just one that they can access and update the message here that's gonna be sent in the email and then click send email. Then all that client has to do is click the link in their email. They'll log into the account that you want access to. Uh, there's a confirmation screen after that. And then from there, you can access their account. But let me show you what account looks like when you do have access to it. I believe it is this one. So then you'll be able to see their customer number here. Uh, it's hidden for you for uh, this video for security, but it's there. Uh, and then all of the products that's in this client's account. And you can see this is mine. So I have a lot of different stuff here. I have my access level, manage products and I manage and purchase products rather. I can add additional products without shared shopping, or I can just go ahead and click this log in as client and I jump right into their account, delegated as them or personated, whatever you wanna call it here. Uh, and then I can go ahead and manage whatever products I want. Uh, if, if I need to set up that uh, hosting account to get the website design process started, I can do that. I don't have to bug my client who may, may or may not be tech savvy to do that. They just get to sit back while I do my work. Hey, but that's it. That's all you need to do to access your client's GoDaddy's account without their username and password. But I hope you got some value out of this video and helps you with your workflow with your clients. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel so you get these videos first. I'm Neely and I'll see you next time.